was going to, and I was like, I better just eat. What's on the agenda today? Um, the fridge is getting pretty full. Yeah. I gotta do something with the stock. I like to can it. I guess I'd like to can some. Some of it. Mm. Uh, mm -hmm. Some of the canning stuff from the farm and try it. Looks like you've been busy this morning. But basically, I'm gonna cut. It's one of those pigs into a primal cut and start piecing out stuff and getting some trim. Start getting her done. I break it down into like more primals, like the four primal shoulder butt, da da da. I probably need some more meat hooks so I can break those down and repaint those up. Smaller pieces. Uh, most of the grunt work, nasty work, was done yesterday. Yesterday was a lot of working on the head, scraping and shaving, torching. Very tedious, but... Your least favorite part. <laughs> it was very tedious, I did it. Oh, I wonder what the do uh, dog treats did. They were like crispy before I went to bed. And I here, I better keep an eye on the dogs. You want to tell them about those? I took the pig ears, one of the things that I shaved and torched and scraped for. <laughs> they had some hairy ears. Uh, and I cut them into strips and I put them in the dehydrator yesterday. Oh man, they're going to like that. Cool. They are going to love these. The hair. Oh, there's hair on it. Yeah, it's dog treat. I did the best I could. Those ears were so hairy. Like, the hair was this long on those. Cool. You can see the veins are into it. It's wild. Someone I watched yesterday said that, like with heritage breeds, if you get a, oh, I think it was the meat smith, something about summer wet pig, winter pigs. Like they shed, they molt, like, mm -hmm. so ours and this, they should have been, they may have been less hairy because of when we mm. got them, but they had, their heads and their ears were very thick hair. Weird. What are you doing today? running our business our day-to-day uh, -day operations employee cut the tip of her finger off pruning her tomato plants yesterday so <laughs> she's not really interested in running a juice and smoothie bar where she does Lemon dishes and, and makes oh. wraps and you know let this be a lesson guys i was butchering with razor sharp knives all day with meat and somebody cut their finger off Messing with tomatoes, so veggies dangerous. <laughs> ready to butcher, Bobby the butcher. I'm ready. Um, get a little stuff done here. This is at the juice bar, and I'm going to start breaking down some pork.
it's later this afternoon and what is Rob doing? Oh, he's watching more YouTube. He took the workshop, but he's still watching information. I'm getting ready to make dinner. Got our first two zucchinis out of the garden today. I love zucchini, it's my favorite. But because we're gardening it at a different house, one of them got huge. It happens. All right, back on track. I uh, had to go help Liz at the juice bar and it was a decently busy day, so I ended up being there most of the day. Um, I just got back and started to work on the shoulder that I separated out earlier. And I went ahead and um, made uh, the lower part of the shoulder into some sausage and pulled some of the country ribs off. And now I'm going to break up some oh, dark um, Boston butt roasts and hopefully get that one shoulder primal bagged, get some grind done and get some of that put away. That's the plan. It is dark out here. Butchering into the dark. Well, I finished the two shoulders off the first pig. Um, I've got it cubed up into grind and it's time to go inside. I lost light. So maybe I'll get inside and get the grinder going tonight. I'd love to get some of this in the freezer and I'll be back to working on more of it tomorrow. And if I grind some, we could have breakfast sausage in the morning, which would be pretty cool. But I'm also very tired. So I guess we'll see you on the next one.